skeleton key here and today I am going to make my book club report for 2020. So I'm in a bunch of book clubs and a lot of times people will ask me how many book clubs I'm in and then I stop to count and then I lose count and and so I've never had an answer so I decided okay I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna actually count how many book clubs I'm in but instead of just telling you the number what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one and talk about my reading in that book club for last year. I don't want this to be a super long video, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the book club and how many books we as a group read and how well I did on those reads and then my pick for the best book of the year for that club. So first we'll start off with The Book Was Better book club. So that is a book to film book club. We would actually have two meetings a month and for the first meeting we would discuss the book and sometime between the first meeting and the second meeting then we would all watch the movie sometimes as a group sometimes on our own and and then for the second meeting we would talk about the movie and compare the book and the movie and then vote on which was better and I'm not sure what the what the current tally is but I'm wanting to say about half the time we think the movie is actually better than the book but we're not changing the name of the book club it's still the book was better book club and it is on hiatus right now because it was just getting too difficult to schedule movie viewings and because a lot of times one person would have a dvd of it if it was kind of obscure it wasn't something that we could all just stream separately so so yeah, that one is on hiatus. There are talks of just going to a regular book club format virtually for a while, but we haven't really decided anything on that. But we did manage to read seven books as a group. I started all seven. I only finished four of them. My pick for the best of those books was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And that one, I did think the book was better, but we watched the, the latest movie version. And there were a lot of things that I liked about what that movie did with the material, but there were also a lot of things I didn't like. But anyway, yeah, the book was better. So the next book club is Genre Land, and I've got like, at least one video devoted to genre land so uh yeah go watch that video uh and and join the genre land because it is completely online now it, it is completely virtual and asynchronous so yeah we'd love to have you so that is one where we don't all read the same book there is a monthly theme and you your goal is to read one or more books on that theme and then everybody talks about the books they read and we just have fun talking about those books and i read 29 books total last year of those 29 books that i read i think the best was npcs by drew hayes i highly recommend it to anybody who plays D D any kind of tabletop RPG like that. I don't know if if you aren't familiar with D&D, &D, I don't know how much you'll get out of it, but if you are a D&D &D player, I think you'll think it's great fun. And then another virtual book club is Literally Dead, and that is run by Kayla at Books and Lala, another booktuber. I joined kind of late in the year. I think she started it in like January or February of last year, but I, I think I joined somewhere around the guest list. Um, 
so somewhere around the middle of the year. I started five of the books. I finished four of them. Uh, there were there were ten books in all last year. Of the four that I finished, I think the guest list was my favorite of those. And I did have a little bit of a hard time getting into that one. I think partially because I had been oversold on the whole um, retelling of Ag of an Agatha Christie novel, that whole angle. Uh, and, and I just wasn't feeling it. And, but as soon as I kind of let go of that and decided, okay, this is going to be its own thing. And I just went with that. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Okay, book snobs. I, I apparently am not kicked out of book snobs. Uh, <laughs> I think nobody really agreed with me that The Unbearable Lightness of Being was awful. But anyway, so last year, book snobs read 11 books. And I started 10 of them. I finished five of them. My pick for the best of those was The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. I think she's an amazing author. And The Talented Mr. Ripley, that is a five-star book for me. Just, I, I don't even know how to describe her writing. It's just so, so incredibly well done. She gets you into the mind of Tom Ripley and... It's very effective. Somewhere I've got the second book in the series, so I'm definitely, definitely wanting to read more in the series. Then my neighborhood book club, and this is one that I made the mistake of going to an HOA meeting. The, the guy in charge of the social committee said something about there was interest in forming a neighborhood book club and my husband just went, yeah, her. I'm like, yeah. So I was voluntold to head up the neighborhood book club. It, it is a great group, though. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm in it. And I mean, yeah, I helped set it up, but... It doesn't really require a whole lot in the way of management, but we read eight books last year and I started all eight. I finished four of them. My personal favorite was Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. That is a short novella, Japanese author. It's set in Japan and it's about a convenience store woman. She's pretty clearly not neurotypical. Um, I think she's autistic. And she, it, it goes into a lot of the struggles that she has with especially living in such a conformist culture and being a convenience store woman when, you know, she, there are so many other societal expectations you know, get married, have kids and all that stuff. And she's having none of it. And, and then, then this guy comes along and things just go to shit. And yeah, but I, I don't want to say more. It's short. Just go read it. Next is the Old Town Library Book Club. It meets like every six weeks and goes on hiatus in the summer and the way they schedule it, it seems like every other meeting I have a scheduling conflict. <sighs> so I don't get to participate in that one nearly as much as I would like. They read six books last year. I started three of them. I finished one of them. And that was a Virgil Wander. So that is automatically my best of the year pick for, for Old Town Book Club. Uh, and that, that is the one that I said that I, you know, there, it was, there was a lot of mysterious stuff going on and a lot of magical realism stuff going on that I felt like I just wasn't quite getting in the audiobook because I couldn't 
run it back. I couldn't flip back to to double check things like I could with a physical book. So that is one that I do want to reread in a physical book. Haiti Book Club. That is a, a local book club. It did start off actually being high tea, and then the woman who started it moved away, and the rest of us were like, well, Saturday and Sunday afternoons work better for us, so I, we should probably rename it the Afternoon Tea Book Club, but we haven't. We're just leaving it high tea book club. Last year we read 11 books, and... I started all 11. I finished eight of them. My personal favorite of all of them was The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Very clearly geared at a much younger audience. I am not its target audience. Still, I thought this was delightful. Um, yeah, a few maybe little quibbles here and there about stuff, but uh, no, this, this was fun. And, and there's just, I don't know. Abby Waxman knows how to turn a phrase too. It's, it's witty and and it it's not super heavy, but there's important stuff in there too about family and uh yeah this this was delightful. Um, L.A. Tour Society it actually went on hiatus pretty early last year and. We're just now getting around to, to Zooming. And so we only read three books as a group. And I started all three of them. I finished none of them. If I had to pick one that I'm most eager to finish, I'd probably say Beak of the Finch. And I apparently left it upstairs, sorry. But it, it has a picture of a finch on the cover. I think Weiner is the author on that. Jonathan Weiner, I'm wanting to say. I probably will eventually finish all three of them. Then Strange Worlds, that is the science fiction and fantasy book club that I belong to. And we read 14 books as a group last year. Um, so there were a couple novellas in there. I started all 14. I finished six of them. Wow, that's kind of bad. I expected that number to be higher. But the best of them, my favorite was Witchmark by C.L. Polk. And it's, it's sort of a fantasy version of Edwardian England, the setting is. And, and so it's a murder mystery, sort of, and it's a fantasy, and it's and there's Fae, and there's, I'm trying to th remember what, I, cause I don't want to spoil things. So I'm just, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. But it is also a gay romance and it is just, it, and it's a happy gay romance. It's, yeah, I, it, I don't want to say a whole lot more, but it's, it's great. Witchmark, C.L. Polk. And so Strange Worlds started as an old Firehouse Books book club, Traps and Trenchcoats, and, and then Strange Worlds just kind of spun off on its own. Traps and Trenchcoats is old Firehouse Books mystery book club. It was on hiatus for a while there last year. Uh, we're, we're on Zoom now, and... We read seven books as a group last year. I started all seven. I finished four of them. My pick, my favorite was The Likeness by Tana French. Uh, I still haven't finished the first one in the series. I need to get back to it. I was really getting into that first book in the Dublin Murder Squad series because I wanted to read it before reading this one for book club. But I was like, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm finishing this. So I switched over to this and I did finish this. There were things I wasn't quite sure about, but wow, there is, it, this is complex and it goes into a lot of stuff. Again, I don't want to say a whole lot because it's a mystery. Then there is the Fucked Up Book Club. And that is also a book club at Old Firehouse Books. 
as a book club we read 10 books last year i started all 10 i finished six of them my favorite was my sister the serial killer by oyinkan braithwaite and it's i mean and it, it's not really a mystery it's it's more of a character study but it's also it's almost a dual character study because all right so it's a character study of her sister but it's this family dynamic especially between the two sisters so the the protagonist she works in a hospital and there's this doctor that she's got a huge crush on and anyway her sister decides she wants him and she knows that her sister tends to kill the men she dates. And so she's really unhappy about this. And it's just this really bizarre family dynamic and how everything plays out is just, it's a, it's an utter train wreck, but it's so much fun to watch. Well, fun's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Book club number 12. <laughs> this is my last book club. Uh, I am in 12 book clubs now, apparently. But it is Sisters in Crime Colorado. And there are actually three locations. And in the before times, I only went to the one locally. And I didn't go to the one in Longmont or the one in Parker. But now that we're all on Zoom, I try to make it to all three every month. So technically I'm in 14 book clubs, I guess. I don't know. But there is some overlap between the three groups. Like the Fort Collins group is reading Hanging Falls by Margaret Mizushima this month. But the other two book clubs they might also invite Margaret to their book club another month. So there is some overlap. So even though there's three book clubs, uh, we only read all together 24 books last year. I started 16 of them. I finished 11 of them. And picking a favorite, oh my gosh, this is so hard because there were so many good books last year. Um... Well, there are always so many good books in that group. But I'm going to go with All the Broken People by Amy Rivers. Uh, this is set in Georgia. Yes, there's lots of kudzu on the cover. And it is set in rural Georgia. And it, there's also a cold case, but then there's also all this crime going on and an attempted murder and and then another murder and yeah the, it's there's a lot a lot packed in it's not terribly long it's only about 300 pages long but there is so much packed in here and Amy Rivers does an amazing amazing job with character character work um yeah, I highly, highly recommend this one. So there you have it. 12 to 14 book clubs, depending on how you want to count it. Okay, so I was going through my notes and realized that I left off two book clubs from last year. And those are ones that we really didn't get very far into the year at all before we pretty much had to shut them down um, because they met at restaurants. Yeah, it just really wasn't an option and not enough people wanted to continue them on a virtual platform. So they have, at least for the moment, they have kind of died. Um, but the first one is Wolverine Farm. And of course that met at Wolverine Farm. I really, really hope Wolverine Farm pulls through this. I really miss going to all sorts of events at Wolverine. It's it's a it's a really special place. It's cafe slash bar slash event space. Anyway, that club there were three books that we had and 
I did start all three of them. The only one I finished, however, was West with the Night by Beryl Markham. So that's my, my best of the year. I am really anxious to finish at least the one of the other two. What is not yours is not yours. And I'm, I'm really hoping I get to finish that one this year. That one was very, what I read of that was very intriguing. And uh, yeah, so I want to read that. The other club was Ladies Seeking Community. And that was a a meetup group that did various things but so I think it was sometime in 2019 we started doing a book club as one of our activities and so we actually only as a group you know I put down two books we so there was the secret life of Anna Blanc that was my pick actually for the book club and I enjoyed the heck out of it um I, I understand why why some some of the ladies did not like it as much as they did because uh, the the main character Anna is is kind of insufferable but she's my kind of insufferable the secret life of Anna Blanc by Jennifer Kinchelow so it's 1907 Los Angeles socialite Anna Blanc Fancies herself a Sherlock Holmes, but in her world, women don't solve crimes. When adventure comes calling, Anna escapes her chaperone and, using an alias, takes a job as a police matron with the Los Angeles Police Department. Um, and much wackiness ensues. So, and I definitely want to read further in this, this series. And, um, and then we picked a second book for the year, and I think that was The Scent Keeper. I bought a copy, so I have it, and I do intend to read it someday, but I we didn't even get around to scheduling a meeting or anything, so I didn't even get it started yet. So um so Secret Life of The Secret Life of Anna Blanc is my favorite from that book club for 2020. <laughs> so sort of by default, but I did really enjoy that. So now I do think I have it all covered, all my book clubs last year. So yeah, let me know in the comments below or if you're in any book clubs and what kinds and what all do you read. Uh, and if if you've got any, any books that you'd like to recommend that worked really well for your book club, let me know. And, and if you're not in any book clubs, go join Genreland. In the meantime... Please like and subscribe and I'll see you around.